So I'm walking back to the new map now. The sun's actually gone in now, so it's a little bit chilly, but that's still alright. So that's the next place on the tour gonna be people. Obviously uh, there's many coffee shops in this area, I'm not gonna go to each and every one of them. Too much money and obviously I know some of them ain't that good anyway. So where's well, gonna be third on the tour, we'll catch up in a bit. Right, there you go then people, a bit of history here, the new mark. Little tour going on there. Just on the edge of uh, where the red light district is. The red light district is down that little alleyway there. So uh, this coffee shop here, Johnny Joker. Uh, I've only been in it once before. Don't think that much of it. I'm going to go and see if they've got a lighter. So let's go into uh, Johnny Joker. We're going to have a coffee shop going on. Another one. It's not too bad. Let's go down to that. People. Nice jumping area. So. We bypassed uh, Baz Joe and Bagheera, obviously also Goa before. And uh, we're going to go in the new plug, which used to be Rusland. So, pretty much know what the plug's about, but I might just go and have a look at that. I might not even get so in, I might go on to the next one, but there it is in the distance. The plug three, I suppose. Used to be Rusland. Just going to see what they got. I'm not in the Cali behind mood, so I've got a light from there, so unless there's a decent strain. I'll just be uh, having a look. Alright people, so didn't end up going in the plug in the end. Uh, I can be bothered in the end. I'm gonna, because I got here a bit late, I'm going to walk towards my hotel, ready for check-in. But um, I've ended up walking out on the rocking, rocking or whatever it's called. So I'm actually going to, uh, I'm actually going to walk down to Rembrandt Plain and probably go in the old church or family first. There we are, people. The old church in the distance. There's another church there. So basically, that's over there, it's just down towards the Rambling Plain. So, um, I'm staying in the South Flats now, so I'm slowly walking towards there and uh, keeping the coffee shop tour going on the way. I want to go in a coffee shop, it's got a bit more space so I can do filming in, so oh, I like Old Church. I think I'm going to give Old Church a miss. It's a decent coffee shop. Used to be the rock ring. Yeah. So, I'm going to walk down here. There's another decent coffee shop on the right hand side. Another. One of my favourites. So let's cross over. Let's see what that one's like. I might just get a grab from there because every time I've had it from uh, this coffee shop, it's always good. Which one am I talking about, people? There it is, people. Family first. Let's go in one of the best coffee shops in the back. Of the people just killing families first. Got the um, strawberry banana kush. I wanted the family fire kush, but they only a little bit less, so I asked her what was good. It did smell pretty nice. So, um, also got another lighter for the collection. So, just walking into Rembrandt Plain now. There, you've got a coffee shop, three floors. Three floors, definitely one to avoid. I won't be going in there at all. I had sprayed weed from there before. That's the last place I had sprayed weed from. And then... Another one right next to it. The Lou Coffee Shop. Another pretty dead one. So we won't be going in there. Head on to Rambo Plane. Right, the Rembrandt people. 
nice place for drinking. Most of the coffee shops here aren't that great. You look over there, you see coffee shop Smokey. Same name as me, but rubbish coffee shop. Used to go in our, on our first trips, plate full, dead weed, pre bag. We'll give that a miss. Let's walk down there to. Uh, The we'll be going to um, Easy Times 2. There's Smokey up there. Let's walk down this bit here. Let's just get your bearings. Down this little alleyway. Pretty nice to be fair. So there's two coffee shops at least two down here. I'm not going to go to the second one, it's a bit further down. Walk, nice trees. Never even noticed this bitting out today. I did for a pizza in one of these places, it was shit. That was my first trip, I think. Might have been that place. And this is where we spent the last New Year's Eve as well in these places. So as you can see, we won't go too close. There's the bush doctor. And, uh, Okay, people, there it is, the bush doctor. Another coffee shop, but we're not going to go in it. Okay, see people, coffee shop smoky, busy with all the tourists, but those like good shit. So, people, just at the top of the Rembrandt plane now. There we go. Nice little sign there, don't know what it means, Stoa. So, we walk up here. Walking south now, pretty much into the south now, it's down near where my head's head is. So this street down here is actually, you can go to Hunters and uh, Quarry Longings. I'm going to keep heading south, I'm going to go into a coffee shop, just down this road, you check straight. Also, opposite one of my favourite restaurants in Dan. So we'll have a look at both of them. So, here we go, people. This is uh, not not you, Trey Strat. Sorry, Amstel Strat. So Amstel Strat, Baffianos. But then um, one of the restaurants in England, actually. Wagamamas, if you like that sort of thing. Completely dead in one. <laughs> You've got my shop, Robin. Women's dresses, funnily enough. Seeing all the sights down Amstel Strike. Right, I'll get rid of this coat. And if you can see there in the distance, coffee shop Koi is where we're next going to go in. Let's just leave that here. It's near a bin anyway, at least. Close enough to a bin. Here's the other place, people. Ribs Factory. One of the best ribs in Amsterdam. Really good. And there you go. Coffee shop coffee. Let's go in here and have a bit. So 
people. There it is, just been in coffee shop Koi. Nice little coffee shop, very quiet, so I had a sit down bifta in there. Um, didn't really see too much on the menu, so I asked him, actually once I asked him what they recommend, I um, started trying to recommend me caddy, so not caddy, because I'm not in that price range, so he recommended me the Mentos, it's 17 and a half euros. Um, again, you've got to smoke it pure in there, so I made a pure joint. It was pretty nice, it was tasting good, but... I don't know if it was 17 euros or not, that's another question, but again, compared to the weed I got last time, because uh, if I got that in the last trip, it would have been one of the better ones, so I'm not going to complain about that.